Good evening. Good evening. Hello, hello. Good evening. Good evening. How's everybody good doing? I'm very good. Everybody doing good? Yes. I'm okay. No, okay. Well, okay is Thank okay, you. but it could be better, right? Give me one second, my little table kind of. Happy Friday, everybody. No lo veo contento de que sea Friday, TGIF. <laughs> if you guys ever see TGIF, it means thank God is Friday. Thank God it's Friday. Yes. How is everybody doing? I heard Glenda okay. Paco, how you doing? Thumbs up? Nice, okay. Guille, como estamos? How's uh, everything? Uh, fine, thank you, teacher. Nice to hear, nice to hear that. Diana? I'm doing okay. Good, okay. All right. Ivan, how's it going, my friend? Hey, teacher. All good. What about you? Oh, it's it's good, man. It's going. It's going. Great. Um, remember, I told you guys, please don't think that the shirts... I started using these shirts because my dress shirts from work... I don't know if you guys noticed. Most of my shirts are like... Um, they're light. Uh, they're light blue. Um, they have stripes. Uh, they're really light colors. And so what happens is that with the background, it kind of, you know, it kind of goes all crazy. And I'm not able to, you know, to kind of project, you know, the way that I really want to project. And so I, I've started using my, my polo shirts. And so what I noticed is that over the years, I have gotten a lot of these. Uh, and they're usually like the same color. So I have, I found three black. I have, uh, I think there was two blue, but it was like a, a really light blue. I'm gonna say two, two, no. Uh, I'm gonna say bright, very bright blue. I found three that were dark blue and I haven't worn the red one yet because I don't want you guys to also say, Ay, este teacher ya anda ahí. I haven't worn the red one because I don't know how it's gonna, you know, how it's gonna work with the background. So, but please don't think that it's it's the same shirt. Nada que la misma va, es la misma, la misma. <laughs> no, no, it has little things that are a little bit different. No sé si se fijaron que el cuello es un poquito. It's a little bit different, right? All right, all right. Um, but I did, I, I, you know, I, I, I had to bring them out because I don't know what happened with the background. It started kind of work, kind of doing, you know, this weird thing. Well, really happy to be here, guys. Um, two weeks we've been together. Can you believe that? Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, I, you know, I was kind of going back in the calendar and I was like, oh, my God, it was barely, you know, it feels almost like yesterday that we that we that we met for the first time and i think that that's really good that's fantastic um, um i think i used it the other day it's like when you're having fun or when you're liking something it kind of just kind of flies by and for me it's something like that for me i really like um coming in um i think that covid 19 and providing the classes virtually has change things a little bit but i want you guys to know that if if one day we are able to make it back into the classroom you guys will see that we usually um i really push for you know having coffee como que somos alcohólicos anónimos el cafecito y los cigarros siempre están ahí los dulcitos a little bit of candy a little bit of chocolate you know um if we did a, a an activity it would have to, you know, we usually try to bring a, a little bit of food in. O sea, no los platos, ¿verdad? De, 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 ¿cómo es? 
de bistec encebollado, porque, you know, it's, it's a little bit too powerful. Pero por lo menos unas empanaditas y cositas así. So, hopefully, hopefully, and I pray that someday we are able to go back to that. And hopefully, someday, you know, we are able to see each other in the classroom. Para que puedan decir, ¡ay, qué, qué alto este teacher! ¿verdad? Sí, parece basquetbolista. <laughs> and then you guys can see that. All right, well... Really happy that it's Thursday because it's Friday for us. Um, we're going into our weekend. Remember that we have Friday, Saturday, and Sunday that we don't come to class. However, I do recommend to work on the platform, right? Go back and let's try to do a little bit of that platform work and see how that turns out. Um, in the meantime, what we're going to try to do is we're going to, we are going to try to work on the platform for the remainder of today's class. And for next week, um, by popular demand, popular demand, we are going to do something a little bit different. I think you guys, you guys have already been doing it. They told me. And that is to work in groups. Um, throughout the days, I've noticed that there has been, um, we have had a class which is always anywhere between six and eight students. And so if we keep it like that, between six and eight, maybe 10 students, we are able to do the, the breakout rooms in pairs. And if we're off a little bit, then what I'll do is I'll, you know, I'll, I'll step in and do that. So for next week, we're going to incorporate the use of breakout rooms. And what I am going to do is I'm going to assign you guys conversations, you know, specific role plays. And then you guys can kind of practice going the back and forth. Um, and then I'll check in on the break rooms from time to time. If you guys have done, if you guys have done the break rooms before, um, you know, the exercises, I really like them. Um, I really like doing the breakout rooms and I do like to go in and check on everybody. Hopefully we, we, we are able to do that. We will also incorporate um, a little bit of the PowerPoint presentations just in case we need to cover something specifically. And we are going to begin to use the live worksheets for the exercises as well. Um, remember that the live worksheets, we get them from a website and we fill them in and then we check on it immediately to see how that goes. Uh, so hopefully for the remainder of the two weeks, we can incorporate everything together and make the class, I would say a little, you know, uh, a little bit more dynamic, right? A little bit more dynamic, hopefully, hopefully, uh, 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 hopefully. All right, so um, how has it been going with the platform, everybody? All right, let's open it up like that. Have you guys been able to log in okay? Have you guys been able to work? I know, okay. see, Diana? Everything sí, to is okay. Todo bien, okay, nice to hear, okay. Teacher, uh, yes. Uh, I have a, a brief question for you, uh, just to just to know the difference between the the present perfect. This is a a question uh, different to the, the thing that we are uh, talking about. But I just want to know what is the difference between present perfect and present perfect continuous uh, continuous because. Um, they are almost the same. They they are, they are, and so um, let me see. I, I I can definitely definitely help you out with that, and I want to be able to show it to you as well. So let me give me one second. Let me see. I have I have a better. Let me see. I have one. We can do directly, and that was. Let me. We're gonna use tenses. And let's see if we can use, yeah, we can use this one. There's a, there's a few of these on the on the internet. I'm gonna show you guys. Let me see which one we can use, which is better. Um, some of them are a little bit more intense than others and they have a lot more information. 
but relatively speaking, you end up kind of going over the same. So it's it's always kind of like the same thing. So give me one second. Let me see if because I can I, get you in. Yeah. I, as I can see, uh, present perfect is an action that um, that that started in the past and continue mm -hmm. in the present. Okay. It continues in the present and, and present continuous is almost the same. It started it, in it, the past and it continues. Uh, There is my, the question that I have. Okay, okay. Let me let me bring it up. Let me bring it up. We're, we're gonna get it. Yes. Ah, oh, yes. So uh, let me see. You know, I wanted. To, there's so many examples that sometimes. Okay, yes. I think this one will work really well. Let me see if I can bring it up, and let me go ahead and share my screen. Oh no. Okay. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Ah, uh, let me see. Present, present perfect, and I, that one's a little bit, let me see. This one can also work. So like you were saying, it's it's very close. And it's if it if it wasn't for something that you need to add, let me go ahead and share my screen. And so sorry about the, you know, there's there's a little bit of there there's a little bit of propaganda on my screen, but that's not my propaganda, by the way. It's it has to do with the screen itself. So give me one second here. I'm gonna share everything so that you guys can see. And that propaganda is from the website, all right? So don't, no van a pensar que ahí yo todo político, uh, no. Ni sé quién es ese men, <laughs> no sé quién es de Gustavo Acevedo. All right, so look at this one, look at this one. Can you see it, Guille? Yes. So this yes, is what you were saying, right? So yes, it, it's very, very close to each other. So you have the perfect and you have the present. So present perfect and present perfect continuous. Now, what is the difference? What is the main difference? Okay. Yeah. And, and, and like you said it, like you mentioned it, right? You are doing something in the past and you did it up until a certain point. Okay. Now, present perfect continuous takes it a little bit further than that because present perfect continuous you are letting somebody know that you still have not stopped. Okay. So let me, let me give you the example, Guillaume. Mm -hmm. uh, let, let's use studying, right? Like in this case here. Cuando, when, when you answer, use the question is, let's say, for example, I ask you, hey, hey, Guillermo, have you studied for your test or have you studied for your English test? And then you come back and you say, yes, yes, I have studied English all night long. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So now what does that tell me? That tell me that you did study, that you did do it all night, but that you stopped, uh -huh. okay? Now the same question, hey, have you studied for the English exam? Oh my goodness, I have been studying for the English exam all night. What does that tell me? That tells me that you are still studying for that exam. O sea, no has parado, Guille. It hasn't stopped. So the best way to look at it is here you are doing something or you, you were doing something and you stopped. But when you use a present perfect continuous, you're letting somebody know that you are still doing it. 
you are mm -hmm. still in the process of studying. I have been studying English all night long. Comenzaste, ah, okay. comenzaste a las seis, son las diez, y vos todavía le estás echando, papá. Mm -hmm. So that's the main difference. You, you haven't stopped yet. You are still moving forward. Okay. Okay. Yes, I understood. All right, all right. So uh, thank you for that question. And, and so now I, I wanted to show it to you. I have this stuff on presentations, but once again, I wanted to bring it up a little bit. And then, so let me show you guys what pops up whenever I search for something. Look at, look at all that. And so then it begins, you know, which one should I show? Because they're, they're all really good. And then it's just, you know, the internet is just fantastic. So we'll leave that one on there like that. And then we'll, go back to our platform all right Guy, thank you so much for your question you. hey, everybody we were talking about the platform and everybody was telling me that we were doing really good with the platform really excited let's go ahead and finish that off and so let's also talk about what we can see in the platform you guys can see the chequecitos check marks these are little check marks all right yes. And so here, I know that I have already completed section one to a certain degree, maybe not 100%. However, I have already met the expectation. So therefore I get the green check mark, okay? There's another way to look at uh, how you're doing and how your progress is going. By looking at this screen, where do you guys think I should press to check on my progress? Dun, dun, dun. El, el botón que dice? Progress. Progress. There we go, right? So we click on it. We click on progress. And here it is. So as a matter of fact, I did get section one and section two completed all the way up to 100%. And that means that I am at 40%. And as an overall, because I haven't done the midterm and the final, I am at 12%. And so we have something like looks like this. Okay, I want to go back to my courses. Remember that in order for you guys to pass and get certified, 80%. That's the expectation. Hello, hello, everybody. Hello, I, did, I, did I say hello to everybody? I did, right? Melissa, hello. Karen, hello. Mario, hello. Just in case. Diana, hello. Glenda, hello. 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 Right. Just to be safe, just to be safe. Hello. Como es, no sé si los he saludado, so here we go again. Hola, muy buenas tardes. Right, and you start shaking everybody's hand again. Okay, uh, we left off in section two, and we're starting section three, and also we have the midterm. So we can go real quick into section number three, and we can begin working on the midterm and seeing some of those questions and see how they are doing and how we're doing with the with the sections in the midterm okay actually i think we're going to be able to finish it pretty quick we're already in knowledge check 3.4 and we left it here did you guys complete knowledge check 3.4 were you guys able to get the answers i did it okay all right well we can do it together and then we can move forward from here. As you guys can see, it's 10 questions, but they're actually pretty easy because they you can choose. And it goes back to the exercise that we had been doing, right? And so Johnny Depp, let's get that going. What are we supposed to do? Complete the sentences, use the adjectives in the brackets. Johnny Depp is a very, and then you get two options, amazing or amazed actor. Which one sounds, which one do you guys think goes better with the word amaze? Amazing. Amazing. Okay. All right. Let's choose that one. I find animated films and then the word amuse. And you could say amusing or you can say Amazed. What do you guys think? 
Amusing. Ama amusing. All right, let's check on amusing. Number three, I am not, and then the blank space is for interest in science fiction movies. I am not interested. Interested, okay. In science fiction movies. Number four, I am bored by watching television. I am boring or I am bored? Bored. Bored, okay. I thought Jurassic Park was an, and then the word is excite. We have book. I thought Jurassic Park was an exciting. excited or exciting. I heard exciting, okay. Let's choose exciting. I am fascinated by J.R.R. Tolkien's novels. Am I fascinated or am I fascinating? Fascinated. Fascinated, okay. It's surprise that horror movies are so popular. Surprise. Surprising or surprised? Surprised. Surprised? Surprising. Surprising. Okay, let's try surprising there. I was really, sorry guys, I was really shocked by the price. Shocked. Shocked. Okay. The mess was disgust. And the words? Disgusting. Disgust. The mess was disgusting? Disgusting. Disgusting. Okay. I always find thrillers, thrillers too confused. What do we use? Confusing or confused? Confusing. Confusing. All right. All right. Let's give it a submit. Let's give it a go. And all right. There we go. That one was easy. That one was easy. Amazing, amusing, interesting, bored, exciting, fascinated, surprising, disgusting, and confusing. Okay. Moving on to lesson 3.5. Classify synonyms for common adjectives. And here's our video for today. Let me see. Yeah, we're all set. All right, here we go, guys. Video. Oh, my goodness. This... Not going. It's not going. You can do a video. Hi, ready to work? Go over the list of synonyms and place them under the correct category. Please listen to the following list. For you to work it out, you must make a chart on your notebook like this. So go ahead, listen and place the synonyms properly. Make sure you ask your teacher to double check on your answers. All right, so let's stop here for a little bit. Synonym. What does synonym mean? Similar. The synonym. When somebody says use a synonym, what are they asking you to do? It's are words that means the same. Mean the same. Word the same that have the same meaning all right good ivan good okay so i want you guys to look at this and we have four words we have awful we have wonderful we have stupid and we have strange okay 
I want you guys to take a few moments to go through the words and I want you guys to write down the list of words that you think are the same. So for example, for example, if I'm looking at the word dumb, I think that dumb goes under stupid. So I'm gonna write it down under stupid. Dumb, stupid. Possibly have the same meaning, okay? All right, so with that in mind, let's go ahead and get started. And then I'm gonna ask you guys, where did you put the word? All you have to do is make it yourself. You don't have to share everything, but whenever we see the word, I'm gonna ask you, where did you place it? Okay, so let's go ahead and take, I would say two minutes. It is 8.28 right now, and two minutes, two minutes. Let's go, everybody. Voy a poner mute aquí. Stop it, mute. Oh my God, that's two days in a row. Ivan, I'm so sorry. Ivan, a uh, uh, whole explanation of, yeah, you know, Ivan, uh, for awful, do you have a word that's a synonym, uh, that's a synonym of awful? Yes, in the, on the first column, I got the last one, dreadful. I don't know. Dreadful. Dreadful. That's that's a really good word. Dreadful. And I am gonna vouch for that. Yeah, I, I'm thinking that dreadful and not full go and they 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 mean the same. Awful and dreadful. Okay, all right. Paco, do you have another word for awful that's different than that than dreadful? I think it could be disgusting. 
disgusting, awful, let me see, disgusting, you know, I'm thinking that it might, it might go in there because I don't see anything. Yeah. Yeah, because also my, it might go in the stupid. Disgusting. Disgusting, stupid. You know, I think it fits, it fits better in awful because when something smells really bad, Paco, you can say, oh, it smells so awful, so disgusting. So uh, yeah, let's leave that one, okay? All right, let's see. Guille, do you have, yes. do you have a word that goes with awful? Oh, terrible. Terrible, you know, we can follow the same guideline, right? terrible yeah it smells it smells terrible so here's for you guys remember if you guys are talking about something bad like a smell you can say it smells bad you can say it smells awful you can say smells dreadful you can say it smells disgusting you could say it smells terrible Okay, if we're, if we're talking about specifically. All right. All right. I like these. I like these. Good, good, good. Let's see. I, I, if, if another one comes up, maybe we can include it. We're going to move on to wonderful. Let's get positive here. Let's get positive. A ver, le toca a Diana. Diana. Wonderful is the word. Let's see. Wonderful. Fabulous. Did I spell it? Ah, oh, my goodness, I spelled it wrong. Okay, hold on. And you said which one? Uh, fabulous. In one. the second in the, in the second one? Uh, this one? Fabulous. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It's my internet today. My internet is failing me. I'm sorry about that. Here you go. So wonderful and then fabulous. Uh, let me see. Let me put it down over here. This is just fabulous. All right. Fabulous. Okay. Glenda, we're looking for a word that means the same as wonderful, and we have fabulous so far. Wonderful, fabulous. Marvelous. Marvelous. Yes. Okay. And fantastic. Yeah, there we go. Marvelous. There you go. Marvelous. Marv. Right? Velis. Marvelous. You got it, Glenda. There we go. Ya ven, ya ven. Let's practice a little bit. Marvelous. Marvelous. Now, when you pronounce it, it sounds like there's only an L E S there. Right, and it's okay because it's it's French, so you can say it like that. Marvelous, right? Marvelous. You got it. You got it. All right. Okay. Let me see. Karen, Karen, you're next. Karen, I think we still have one more for wonderful. Marvelous. We we got that one already. One more, another one. We have fabulous and we have marvelous. Oh. Mm. Outstanding. Fantastic. Yeah, fantastic. That'll work. Yeah. Yes. Fantastic will work. And it goes back to fantastic four. También va. Fantastic. Fantastic. There you go. Fantastic. I, I believe that there's one left. Melissa, Melissa. Synonym for wonderful. We already have fabulous, marvelous, and fantastic. Outstanding. Which one? Which one? Outstanding. Outstanding. I'll accept that. Outstanding. Okay. Same word, 
I'm sorry, same meaning, different words. You want to say something is wonderful, but you already used it too much, change it up to fabulous. Change it a little bit to outstanding so that it doesn't sound repetitive in your conversation. I love your shoes. They're absolutely fabulous. You look fantastic. Oh, your hair, your hair, outstanding. Esa barba, teacher. Esa barba. <laughs> <laughs> wonderful right marvelous <laughs> all right all right we got it we got it we got we got the hang of this good good well done well done guys okay mario mario vamos vamos a ocupar it. stupid i think i already used one for stupid for stupid now when you call somebody stupid it's it's if you are friends if you are very close friends, you can say something like that. You can say, man, you're so stupid. And, and there's no problem. But if you don't know somebody and you call them stupid, that means that you more than likely are going to fight, right? Because some people will take it really personal, okay? Um, you don't want to say stupid. I think I used one and you could say dumb. Oh, you're so dumb. And people will not take so much offense, but it still means the same. Right. So you can use dumb and it's, you know, it's going to be OK. All right. So stupid, dumb. Mario, what else can we say for stupid, dumb? Maybe you are ridiculous. Ridiculous. Yeah, there's a show actually that's called Relic Ridiculousness. I don't know if you guys are, have seen it. Yeah, I will accept this one. Ridiculous. You can't make me look ridiculous. And then, you know, they put a lot of emphasis in ridiculous. Hey, thank you, Ivan. Man, you man. Your clothes, this is ridiculous. ridiculous, yeah, we could do that. All right. Nasty. We are using synonyms. So far, we have... So far, we already have for stupid, we have dumb, and we have ridiculous. What else can we use? Absurd. absurd. Where is absurd? Where is absurd? absurd. Yeah, there it is. Absurd. What? Yes, we can use absurd. We can definitely use absurd. All right absurd okay all right i think we have one more that we can use let's see let's go can back up I've, oh nasty uh, nasty i'm sorry which one unusual unusual mm, no i think unusual um, is, is we're gonna leave that one a little bit more nasty but but it, you're in the you're in the right track this is you don't want to say this is stupid but you could say something else. This is silly. This is silly. Yeah. Yes, you can say that. And people will laugh. Oh, right. You just call them stupid without them knowing that it's stupid. So silly. All right, we got it. All right, so now we're going to finish it off with strange. And I think we go back. Paco, strange. Dr. Strange. <laughs> Superhero. Superhero. Okay, strange. I could say bizarre. Odd. You can. You can say bizarre. Yes. Odd and unusual. Wait, 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 Paco. You got him. You got him. Bizarre. We'll accept bizarre. We'll leave it with bizarre, Paco. That is, that is correct. Um, nosotros en español decimos bizarro. I don't know if you guys yeah. have ever heard that bizarre, but yeah, right. So, uh, bizarro is you could say that it's 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 very similar, and usually how you say bizarre is when it's something is is shockingly strange. So it has to be shocking and strange for you to say, "Oh my God, that's so bizarre," right? It has to be shocking and strange at the same time. So you could say bizarre. Okay, we'll take that one. Um, let me see. Let me see. We're going back. Guille. Hello. For strange. For strange. 
Let me see what I have. Uh, strange, uh, weird. We can use weird, yes. Raro, es rarito. But you have to be careful with how you use weird, right? Some people might not like it that you call them weird. Uh, there's a word that people use to make people feel bad, which is weirdo, weirdo. So uh, literally they're just taking the word weird and they're adding an O and then so weirdo, right? And so uh, try not to use that one. It, you know, some people get get upset, okay? All right, uh, let me see, what else, what else? Gia, thank you so much. Diana, there's there's not too many left, right? Diana? Unusual. Un unusual. Unusual. There we go, you got it, unusual. Unusual. You got it, unusual. There you go, okay. And Glenda, last but not yeah. least, last yeah. word. For, for strange. For oh. strange. Oh. I, 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 odd. Odd, you got it, odd, right? Now, when you're saying it in a sentence, you actually say odd. So it sounds oh. a little bit different. It's a, ¿Se acuerdan ustedes de Odi, el, el, el perrito? Od, Odi. We, we say it, well, we say Odi, but you would say Odi, right? We don't, we don't want to send it like that. So it's odd, odd, odd. You're so odd, dice la gente. You're so the, odd. It the is puppy, tan odd. The puppy is odd. You can say that if, 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 if it acts weird or if there's something missing that's not supposed to be there, like for example, there's another head coming out, you can say, oh, that puppy's odd, right? Oh. Or if for whatever reason, it does things that it's not supposed to do. So you could say odd. All right, oh. all right, well done, everybody, well done. Como es la, la, well done, well, well done, okay. We're moving forward. I'm gonna click play because you guys did a great job. Ivan, thank you so much for that. Was that you, Ivan? Yeah, that was you, right, Ivan? That was you. I'm, I'm gonna take it as a yes. <laughs> Somebody else, no. Yeah, live I'm so nada. All right, so let me go ahead and push play here. Absurd, bizarre, disgusting, dreadful, dumb, fabulous. Fantastic, Fabulous. horrible, marvelous, odd, outstanding, ridiculous, silly, terrible, unusual, weird. We want you to write four sentences using the words learn about movies, actors, and novels. Make sure to write them on our discussion box. Once you guys get to the exercise, if you guys want to try it out, you guys can. You guys see how somebody has already written something on here? Well done, right? Good for you guys. Okay, we're going to move ahead from this one because we're going to go into our listening exercise, which is how did you like it? Okay. Listen to people talk about books and movies. Check the adjective that best describes what they say about each one. So we listen, there's four, and then we select an adjective. Okay, here we go. Let me see, there it is. Page 88, exercise five, listening. How did you like it? Part A, listen to people talk about books and movies. Do you think each person would recommend the book or movie? One. What did you think of the new Stephen King book? Oh, once I got started, I couldn't stop reading. I stayed up till 4 o'clock in the morning to finish it. And wasn't the ending great? Yeah, it really was. Such a surprise. And the whole story moved along so fast, too. Two. How did you like the movie? Well, I walked out after half an hour. You did? Yeah, 
It was so dull that I started falling asleep. And I've never seen such bad acting from Jim Carrey. Oh, really? He's usually pretty good. Well, not in this movie. I wish he'd choose better roles. Three. What did you think of that documentary about Australia? I learned so much. I didn't know they had so many different kinds of animals there. And the photography. Yeah, it was something, wasn't it? Uh-huh. It was pretty amazing. It made me really want to go there and see it for myself. Four. Have you read that book that just came out about UFOs? Yeah, what a waste of time. Just the same silly stuff about visitors to Earth from other planets. Uh-huh. It said absolutely nothing new. You know, I'm sick of hearing stories about little green creatures. If they're real, how come no one can ever take a picture of them? Page 88. Exercise 5. Part B. They have a point, right? Okay. We're going to play it again because it's all of them going one by one. So here we go, guys. Here we go. Listen again. Check the adjective that best describes what they say about each one. One. What did you think of the new Stephen King book? Oh, once I got started, I couldn't stop reading. I stayed up till 4 o'clock in the morning to finish it. And wasn't the ending great? Yeah, it really was. Such a surprise. And the whole story moved along so fast, too. Two. How did you like the movie? Well, I walked out after half an hour. You did? Yeah. It was so dull that I started falling asleep. And I've never seen such bad acting from Jim Carrey. Oh, really? He's usually pretty good. Well, not in this movie. I wish he'd choose better roles. Three. What did you think of that documentary about Australia? I learned so much. I didn't know they had so many different kinds of animals there. And the photography. Yeah, it was something, wasn't it? Uh-huh. It was pretty amazing. It made me really want to go there and see it for myself. Four. Have you read that book that just came out about UFOs? Yeah, what a waste of time. Just the same silly stuff about visitors to Earth from other planets. Uh-huh. It said absolutely nothing new. You know, I'm sick of hearing stories about little green creatures. If they're real, how come no one can ever take a picture of them? How come? That's my question. All right. Number one. Fascinating. 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 Sorry, guys. Fascinating. Number one, fascinating. Okay. Number two. Boring. 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 Okay. How about number three? Terrific. Terrific? Terrific. All right. Yes. Terrific. Okay. Number four. Ridiculous. 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 All right. And so they were having conversations, different types of conversations, right? Um, what we were trying to hear from these, uh, it was either a book, it was either a movie, or it could have been a documentary. And then they were providing the information. Um, fascinating, right? Oh, it's just so fascinating. It doesn't have to be a movie. It could be a show. It could be a series. It could be a pretty much any topic could be boring. Um, it could be a class. It could be pretty much anything, right? A conversation. Something can also be terrific. Uh, you could say that the food was terrific. You can say the ride was terrific. Uh, you can use terrific for a lot of different options. And then, of course, ridiculous, right? Ridiculous, right? I don't want to seem ridiculous. All right. So let's go ahead and click submit on this one. See how we turned out. And lady, oh, nice. There we go. So remember, if you guys haven't done knowledge check 3.7, remember, fascinating, boring, terrific, and ridiculous. 
All right, and then let's go ahead and move. Relative clauses. Now, I don't think we're gonna have too much time for these. I think we're, we can watch the video and then we're gonna have to leave it at that. And then we're gonna have to retake uh, the midterm next week, uh, right after we complete you know, what we have in our agenda, busy, busy agenda. All right, let me go ahead and play the video for you guys. Hi, we have previously studied relative clauses of time. Today we'll study relative clauses using relative pronouns, who, which, that. As you realize, these sentences contain two clauses, a main one and a relative one. For example, he is the actor who won two Academy Awards. Page 89. Exercise 9. Grammar Focus. Relative clauses. Use who or that for people. He's an actor. He won two Oscars. He's an actor who won two Oscars. He's an actor that won two Oscars. Use which or that for things. It's a movie. It stars Kate Winslet. It's a movie which stars Kate Winslet. It's a movie that stars Kate Winslet. We want you to know what relative clauses do. They join two sentences together and give information about something in the main clause. Relative clauses are joined by relative pronouns, who, which, that. Who is used to join clauses about people. Which is used to join clauses about things. That is used to join clauses about people and things. Hope this topic wasn't so complicated. Try with these following sentences. I will give you the first part of the sentence and you finish it using a relative pronoun. Ready? Brad Pitt is an actor. Gladiator is a movie. Brad Pitt is an actor. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think we're going to take off from here. Um, it is 8.54, but it's about to be 8.55. Please remember that we are off Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. However, les recomiendo to work as much as you can on the platform and to try to get as much ahead as possible or to try to get ahead as possible. Um, we will be back on Monday with our week number three. And remember that we're incorporating a few things to the, to the class. So hopefully we are able to do those. Um, they're gonna feel really short because you know you have presentation, you have a little activity, and then you have you know a little bit of exercises. So everything's gonna feel a little bit short. All right, I'm gonna give you guys back five minutes. Thank you so much for coming in. Please remember all the good stuff. Bye. Forget all the bad stuff. Uh, remember that we have the what's up. Have a wonderful night. Happy weekend to everybody. Enjoy your weekend. You too. Happy week and all. Yeah, baby. Buenas noches. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Happy weekend. Thank you, Glenda. Bye.